Welcome to Cengage Learning's SAM Online Tutorial Training Series Importing Users An installment of the Digital Course Support Services Self-Training Video Series for Instructors. This training video will walk you through importing student users from a standardized import file. When importing users, SAM requires that you use a specific format for your import file. This import file must contain the same fields that are found within each user's profile, and those fields must be in a particular order. The field must be in either .txt tab delimited file format or .csv comma delimited file format. These are the specific required fields. In this example table, created in Excel, Notice how all required fields are listed in the column. Once you have your import file created and saved in the proper file format, you are ready to import your students. Select the Users Navigational button. Then select the Import Users button at the top of the Users page. The Import User Wizard begins. It is a simple seven-step process that walks you through all necessary processes of importing your student's data. Select the Next button. Step 2 allows you to import student users into your institution's general student user population within SAM, or allows you to directly import the users into a specific course section. In this tutorial, we will be importing users into a specific course section in SAM. Step 3 allows you to browse, locate, and select your import file. When chosen, select the Next button. In Step 4, if you have used the proper import fields in your table, and if your data has a header row, SAM will automatically recognize your import fields by mapping SAM's standard fields to your file's import fields. Again, the only important fields that are truly required by SAM are those with the red asterisk. You will want to provide as much information as you can during your import so that you do not have to go back later and add in more detailed data for the users. Step 5 simply allows you to confirm that your import fields are being mapped properly to the SAM standards import fields. Step 6 displays a validation check of the data in the imported records. If an error occurs, SAM identifies the error, offers immediate feedback and suggestions, and that you can cancel the current import and resume again when the errors are fixed. Step 7 confirms the completion of your import. This step offers a detailed summary report of the items that were completed during the import process. You have the option to print this report if you need to. Once your import is complete, you can edit your course section to view the enrolled students and make necessary changes. You can now inform your students of their new SAM account usernames and passwords. Let them know that they will still need to log on to SAM and enter their individual student product key codes to activate their accounts. Thank you for taking the time to review this self-training video. Additional support information can be found at the Instructor Support page.